Условия. Всем известно, что означает слово «война». Not long after the bombs started falling on her native Kharkiv, Yeva Skalietska read the first entry of her war diary to us in a refugee center in western Ukraine. Когда ты распланировал жизнь на пару дней, и тут твоим планом помешала война и взрывы. The place went quiet that night as people listened to her read. Словом сказать, типичная ночь. 24. Yeva's diary eventually became a book published in over 20 countries. Everyone knows the word war. But very few people understand what it truly means. Until you've been there, you don't know what war is. <sighs> Yeva was in London yesterday, over from Dublin, where she now lives. She met literary giant Michael Murpurgo, author of War Horse in the London Library. Oh my goodness! They're big fans of each other. He saw me. Hi. Nice to meet you. How are you? Oh, this is nice. What took you so long? <laughs> Lovely to see you. Nice to meet Lovely you. Why did you go to Ireland? What's all that about when we want you here? I don't know why. Well, a year on now, and looking back, has it? do you think it helped you to write it? Yeah, indeed. It helped me so much. And when we moved, especially, I didn't have anybody like to talk with. And the, the only one place where I could write about all feelings, but about all situations, and this time when I was in, in the war, it only was a diary. You have a, a life in Ireland and friends in Ireland, and, and you also have friends who are in Ukraine. That's quite a difficult position to be in. Do you find it, can you change gear from one to the other relatively easily, or is it difficult? You know, like, after a time, I realized that, like, in Ireland there's a peaceful sky and the sun is shining. And sometimes for people it's like, oh, sun, okay, nothing special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for me it was, it was just, like, yeah. wonderful that I could walk and don't go to the shelter. And I will able just to walk freely, mm -hmm. to go wherever I want to. It is interesting because I've been writing a lot. Uh, about war because I grew up just post-war. Uh, we lived in London, we played in bomb sites for goodness sakes. Do you know what we played in bomb sites? Did I tell you? No, we didn't. War games. Isn't that bizarre? Little boys are playing war games in the bomb sites and we picked sides who would be Germans, who would be us, and we none of us wanted to be Germans. Do you know why? Because the Germans had to die. And this was in your head six, seven, eight, uh, playing in bomb sites. And of course, these were houses in which people had actually died. You know, same as in Ukraine, they died there in large numbers. And you just, you lose very quickly because the houses are built up, peace came, traffic moved through the streets, there were more jobs. Bit by bit, the greyness of the cities that had been bombed went away. And then you forget, and you forget, and you forget. And then what, what's happened, I think, to the, to the world, the world has been very traumatised by this. They don't know what, we don't know what to do about it, which is why this book... I don't wish to point the finger and say it's so important, because it's very bad for your ego, but it's really important, because it does bring us closer to how it actually is. And it seems to me in our history and your history, everyone's history, we've, we seem to go back into this... It's almost like animals chewing at their own wounds, you know. And the, the really awful thing is that they do end these wars. And each time we all think, well, we're not going to do that again, you know. We will never do that again. And time after time, someone comes along, like Putin, doesn't, you know, he's just the last in a long line of these people who whip up fervor. And it's easy to whip up. I think one must remember that in this country, it's really easy to whip up um, ancient fears, ancient anxieties. It's all there. It's in our history. It's in our DNA, really. You only need the right tone to do that. Uh, that's what's happening at the moment. And it's... I don't think we ever thought this was going to happen or that you had to be someone who's lived through this and, and had to tell, tell the world how it is. But it's so important that you did. I put for Yeva, a younger author from an older one.
for Michael Morpurgo. Thank you so much for supporting. I wish you always have a peaceful sky. Eva Skalieska. That will do, my love. Thank you very much indeed. Sweet of you.